For all the fans of the Transformers trilogy, here's a look at the sentient Autobots seen in the last movie of the trilogy. Directed by Michael Bay and produced by the legendary Steven Spielberg, Transformers, Dark of the Moon was released to pack theaters on the 1st of July, 2012. Although the movie itself didn't rake in as much money as the preceding two movies of the trilogy, fans of the series loved every bit of the Transformers on the big screen. In this third installment of the franchise, the Autobots continue with their battle against the Decepticons, as the latter rage and a loud war on Earth to lay their hands on technology, which the humans stumbled upon during their trip to the moon. Here are some of the many sentient Autobots who save the Earth once again from the evil Decepticons. Optimus Prime Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots and he is voiced by Peter Cullen. He transforms into a Peterbilt 379 truck with red flames on a blue body, and he also gets an additional trailer like his first generation counterpart. Bumblebee Bumblebee has been Sam's guardian from the first movie and he converts into a fifth generation Chevrolet Camaro. His appearance has been tweaked from the earlier versions. His color is a dark shade of amber now and his black stripes are thicker. Wheelie Wheelie was a small Decepticon drone who joined the Autobots in the second movie. He continues in this installment as Sam's pet. He has the ability to turn into a blue colored toy truck. Sentinel Prime. Sentinel Prime is like a father figure to Optimus Prime. The spacecraft that landed on the moon in the movie has been deployed by Sentinel Prime, and he is voiced by Leonard Nimoy. He can transform into a Rosenbauer Panther airport truck. Ratchet. Ratchet is the medical officer of the Autobots and he transforms into a Hummer H2. Green and white colors are sported by him in this movie, along with an E4 symbol and he continues being the peace-loving conflict solver that he is. Ironhide Ironhide is the oldest member of the Autobots and is the weapons specialist for the group as well. He has been through many battles and carries the scars and injuries to prove it. He's lethal when he transforms into a GMC top kick. Citaswipe Transforming into a Chevrolet Corvette Centennial Citus Wipe is a silver sentient Autobot who is adept at all forms of martial arts. He appeared in the second installment of the movie, and is easily recognizable by the fact that he has wheels for feet. Leadfoot. The first member of the Wreckers who transforms into weapon NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Chevrolet Impala stock cars, and travel the universe to search and hunt down Decepticons. Leadfoot transforms into a Juan Pablo Montoya No. 42 target car. Roadbuster. The second member of the Wreckers who transforms into a Dale Earnhardt, Jr. No. 88 Amp Energy Slash National Guard car. Although he might not get along too well with the team, he's an integral part of it. Topspin. The third and final member of the Autobot Wrecker Trio. Topspin transforms into a Jimmy Johnson No. 48 Lowe's slash Cobalt car. He often tends to get carried away in battle, often getting into an overkill mode. Silverbolt. James Avery provides the voice of Silverbolt, the leader of the Airy Alberts. This is a group of Transformers who can convert into planes, and Silverbolt can transform himself into a Concorde jet. Ironically, he is actually scared of heights. Brains. Brains is another Decepticon turned Autobot who regularly accompanies Sam as a pet. He is very close to Wheelie as well. He used to be known by the name Brain Unit in earlier versions of Transformers. Dino. Going by the name of Mirage in earlier comics and toys, Dino transforms into a red colored Ferrari 458 Italia. He sports an Italian accent in the movie. Extremely fast and great at swordsmanship, he can also be rather vain at times. So these were the Autobots in Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon. Each of them have their own characteristics and personality traits which make them unique, and makes the Transformers trilogy an absolute craze amongst people the world over.